In this video, we will be using Gibbs phase rule for degree of freedom. So we want to determine the degree of freedom of Gibbs phase. So we have three scenarios. But first, I will give you the formula of Gibbs phase rule. So we say 2 plus the chemical specie minus the number of phases. So let me write that down. So this, this represented number of uh, chemical uh, species and this right here represented number of phases in a system at equilibrium and so let's solve these three problems so the first one df is equal to 2 plus pure frozen solid water number of chemical species just one because we're just dealing with water and now number of phases pure frozen so we're dealing with just a solid we're not dealing with gas or liquid so that would just be one because it's just solid so we would get a df of two for the gibbs phase now we will do the second one same exact idea so a mixture of liquid and vapor water so we have two plus one one represents just water, the number of chemical species. Just water is just plus one. Minus now two, because we have liquid and vapor. So we would get one. Finally, the third one, DF is equal to, so we have two, a mixture of vapor, liquid, of water, and hexane. We're dealing with both water and hexane, so the number of chemical species would be plus Two, because water and hexane minus so we have a vapor liquid we have a liquid and we have a vapor or a gas so minus two and so we would finally get two and that's all we need to do for this problem